What I like about 831B is that it gives the business owner coverage where they didn't previously have coverage. Um, there's definitely a feeling of safety in knowing that if something happens, I am covered. An 831B program is not meant to compete with traditional insurance. Uh, really, it's meant to complement traditional insurance. So I think two big benefits we've got to be mindful of when it comes to 831Bs or micro-captives is the ability to mitigate risk as well as a strong tax deferral position. As, an, as a CPA and as a user of a micro-captive, uh, the tax mitigation is certainly one of the big ones that I focus on. We don't bring SRA in front of everybody. We bring them in front of those clients who are successful, who are still growing, and who are looking to better their firm and provide better needs for their clients. I think one of the most important things about the 831B plan is that it is usable money if done appropriately. The 831 provides that opportunities to do something. They know it's there. That they've set aside something to protect in case the what if happens. Um, something out of their control, now they can control it. They have a card in the game where they can have some say of what's going to happen. Those business owners have to make a decision. I only use a few outside companies ever um, with my clientele, but SRA is one of them. 